hello. Today we're going to read Ezekiel 25, 26, and 27. 25. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. Say to them, Hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you said, Aha! over my sanctuary when it was desecrated and over the land of Israel when it was laid waste and over the people of Judah when they went into exile. Therefore, I'm going to give you to the people of the east as a possession. They will set up their camps and pitch their tents among you. They will eat your fruit and drink your milk. I will turn Reba into a pasture for camels and Ammon into a resting place for sheep. Then you will know that I'm the Lord. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because you have clapped your hands and stomped your feet, rejoicing with all the malice of your heart against the land of Israel, therefore I will stretch out my hand against you and give you as plunder to the nations. I will cut you off from the nations and exterminate you from the countries. I will destroy you and you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because Moab and Sire said, Look, the house of Judah has become like all the other nations. Therefore, I will expose the flank of Moab, beginning at its frontier towns, both Jeshimoth, Baal, Meon, and Kariathim, the glory of that land. I will give Moab along with the Ammonites to the people of the east as the, their possession so that the Ammonites will not be remembered among the nations, and I will inflict punishment on Moab. Then they will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, because Edom took revenge on the house of Judah and became very guilty by doing so. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will stretch out my hand against Edom and kill its men and their animals. I will lay it waste, and from Timon to Dadan, they will fall by the sword. I will take vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they will deal with Edom in accordance with my anger and my wrath. They will know my vengeance, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, because the Philistines acted in vengeance and took revenge with malice in their hearts and with ancient hostility sought to destroy Judah. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am about to stretch out my hand against the Philistines. I will cut off the Carathites and destroy those remaining among the coast, along the coast. I will carry out great vengeance on them and punish them in my wrath. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I take vengeance on them. Chapter 26. In the eleventh year, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, because Tyre has said of Jerusalem, Aha! The gate to the nations is broken and its doors have swung open to, to me. Now that she lies in ruins, I will prosper. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. I am against you, O Tyre, and I will bring many nations against you, like the sea casting up its waves. They will destroy the walls of Tyre and pull down her towers. I will scrape away her rubble and make her a bare rock. Out in the sea, she will become a place to spread fishnets. For I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. She will become plunder for the nations, and her settlements on the mainland will be ravaged by the sword. Then they will know that I am the Lord. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. From the north, I am going to bring against Tyre Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses and chariots, with horsemen and a great army. He will ravage your settlements on the mainland with the sword. He will set up siege works against you, build a ramp up to your walls, and raise his shields against you. He will direct the blows of his battering rams against your walls and demolish your towers with his weapons. His horses will be so many that they will cover you with dust. Your walls will tremble at the noise of the war horses, wagons, and chariots when he enters your gates as men enter a city whose walls have been broken through. The hoofs of the horses will trample all your streets. He will kill your people with the sword, and your so strong pillars will fall to the ground. They will plunder your wealth and loot your merchandise. They will break down your walls and demolish your fine houses and throw your stones, timber, and rubble into the sea. 
I will put an end to your noisy songs and the music of your harps will be heard no more. I will make you a bare rock and you will become a place to spread fishnets. You will never be rebuilt for I, the Lord, have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to Tyre. Will not the coastlands tremble at the sound of your fall when the wounded groan and the, the slaughter takes place in you? Then all the princes of the coast will step down from their thrones and lay aside their robes and take off their embroidered garments. Clothed with terror, they will sit on the ground, trembling every moment, appalled at you. Then they will take up a lament concerning you and say, and say to you, how you are destroyed, O city of renown, people peopled by men of the sea. You were a power on the seas, you and your citizens. You put your terror on all who live there. Now the coastlands tremble on the day of your fall. The islands of the sea are terrified by your collapse. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. When I make you a desolate city, like cities no longer inhabited, and when I bring the ocean depths over you and its vast waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who go down to the pit, to the temple of long ago. I will make you dwell in the earth below as in ancient ruins, and those who go down to the pit, and you will not return or take your place in the land of the living. I will bring you to a horrible end, and you will be no more. You will be sought, but you will never again be found, declares the Sovereign Lord. Oof. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Oh, sorry, this is chapter 27. <laughs> the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, take up a lament concerning Tyre. Say to Tyre, situated at the gate, way to the sea, merchant of peoples on many coasts. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. To you, O Tyre, I am perfect in beauty. Your domain was on the high seas. Did I read that right? You say, O Tyre, I am perfect in beauty. Your domain was on the high, on the high seas. Your builders brought your beauty to perfection. They made all your timbers of pine trees from Sinir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. Of oaks from Bashan, they made your oars. Of cypress wood from the coasts of Cyprus, they made your deck inlaid with ivory. Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was your sail and served as your, as your banner. Your awnings were of blue and purple from your coasts of El Elisha. Men of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your skilled men, O Tyre, were aboard as your seamen. Sea man. Veteran craftsmen of Gabal were on board as shipwrights to caulk your seams. All the ships of the sea and their sailors came alongside to trade for your wares. Men of Persia, Lydia, and Put served as soldiers in your army. They hung their shields and helmets on your walls, bringing you splendor. Men of Arvad and Helek manned your walls on every side. Men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields around your walls. They brought your beauty to perfection. Tarshish did business with you because of your great wealth of goods. They exchanged silver, iron, tin, and lead for your merchandise. Greece, Tubal, and Meshech traded with you. They exchanged slaves and articles of bronze for your wares. Men of Beth Torma exchanged workhorses, war horses, and mules for your merchandise. The men of Rhodes traded with you. They paid you with ivory. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. The men of Rhodes traded with you, and many coastlands were your customers. They paid you with ivory trunks. Tusks. <laughs> wow. I can read. <laughs> they paid you with ivory tusks and ebony. Aram did business with you because of your many products. They exchanged turquoise, purple fabric, embroidered work, fine linen, coral rubies for your merchandise. 
Judah and Israel traded with you. They exchanged wheat from Minith and confections, honey, oil, and balm for your wares. Damascus became, because of your many products and great wealth of goods, did business with you in wine from Helbon and wool from Zahar. Danites and Greeks from Uzai brought your merchand bought your merchandise. They exchanged wrought iron, cassia, and calamus for your wares. Dadan traded in saddle blankets with you. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your customers. They did business with you in lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba, Ramah, traded with you for your merchandise. They exchanged the finest of all kinds of spices and precious stones and gold. Haran, Cana, and Eden were merchants of Sheba, Asher, and Kilmad traded with you. In your marketplace, they traded with you beautiful garments, blue fabric, embroidered work, and multicolored rugs with cords twisted and tightly knotted. <laughs> Sorry. The ships of Tarshish serve as carriers for your wares. You are filled with heavy cargo in the heart of the sea. Your oarsmen take you out to the high seas, but the east wind will break you to pieces in the heart of the sea. Your wealth, merchandise, and wares your mariners, seamen, and shipwrights, your merchants and all your soldiers and everyone else on board will sink into the heart of the sea on the day of your shipwreck. The shorelands will quake when your seamen cry out. All who handle the oars will abandon their ships. All mariners and all the seamen will stand on the shore. They will raise their voice and cry bitterly over you. They will sprinkle dust on their heads and roll in ashes. They will shave their heads because of you and will put on sackcloth. They will weep over you in anguish of soul and with bitter mourning. As they wail and mourn over you, they will take up lament concerning you. Who, who has was ever silenced like Tyre, surrounded by the sea, when your merchandise went out on the seas? You satisfied many nations with gr your great wealth and your wares. You enriched the kings of the earth. Now you are shattered by the sea in the depths of the waters. Your wares and all your company have gone down with you. All who live in the coastlands are appalled by you. Their kings shudder with horror and their faces are distorted with fear. The merchants among the nations hiss at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. Mm. That's so sad. But the blood of Jesus, <laughs> Jesus has already paid the price for us to live a great and abundant life, to live our lives to fulfilling our purpose and our destiny that was planned long before the foundations of the earth. I just read this morning a quote from Lou Engel that God had a dream and he wrapped your flesh around it. <laughs> That's who you are. God had a plan and he wrapped your flesh around it. That's who you are. Full of life, full of energy, full of hope, full of the love and life of God. <laughs> so yay. Have a great day. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.